It's True Faith TV. Newcastle are still fucking class. Yes, we said it. Bye bye, Fulham. Hope you had a nice trip from wherever you came from. Probably Fulham. Fulham, I think. Fulham. <laughs> Charlotte, it was a great day, was it not? It was. It was a great day. It was a great day because we uh, won the game. But it was a great day because we won the game in the most hilarious way possible, which we've talked about on another video. So we won't labour the point, will we? But it was, it was a great day. It was a wonderful day for shithousery. For the dark arts. For the dark arts. Not Harry Potter shit. I don't no, want to take us there. We're not interested in that. We're not children. We're an adult. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mad Dog Tindall, Charlotte. It's Mad Dog here. Tell me about him. Oh, let me... Let me write poems and sing <laughs> songs and write sonnets. Mad Dog Tyndall like surpassed himself this weekend. Not only did he become a mad dog on the touchline, <coughs> he created an opportunity for us to check on Bruno, who's injured, by calling up. Do you want me to tell the full story? Please do. I'm already okay. enjoying it. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah, he called over Nick Pope when we had a free kick. So most people's attention was over. Sorry, hand in the face. Um, most people's attention was over on the other side of the pitch. He like called over Nick Pope, who sprinted over, happy as Larry, said something to Nick Pope. Nick Pope was like, no problem. Ran back, maybe a bit slower, and then just sat down. He let us take the free kick of the corner first. Yes. Didn't score, and he, he just he wasn't well. He All needed of a, sudden, a moment... Sometimes people need a moment. <laughs> We're sitting for most of the game in the in, in the seats that I was in yesterday. We sit. He needed a seat. Nick Pope has literally got fucking nothing to do apart from laugh at their penalty taker, whose name I forget. Um, you know, that's it. That, that's his game. That's all he's got to do. So maybe it was like, I'm going to take a moment to think about things because mm. I am employed. It's going really well, but I'm not utilized. Yeah. Just like I, now's the time for me to ruminate on my life. Um, and so they brought like medical people over and they took that opportunity to put like a like a compression kind of sock on Bruno's ankle. Apparently he had some painkillers. Also at that exact same time, Joe Linton just stood in the Fulham technical area. Um, <laughs> and no one really noticed while they were all giving each other the game plan. And um, and then someone was like, hey, what are you doing here? Get out of here. But really clever because why? Because he speaks Portuguese. Portuguese, say. Exactly. Uh, that's an Italian way of saying Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese, he is. Mm. Well, Brazilian, but Brazilian. They, 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 they share a language. It's Brazilian. I wonder how fucking terrified Nick Pope must have been. He's concentrating on the game. He's like, ooh, another corner, another yeah. chance for us to overhit a cross in the first half. And then Mad Dog it's is like shouting up. He's like, and he's like, this is maybe the last time I'll be alive. Mm. I won't remember what happens next. Mm -hmm. So he's, I've never seen him move so fast. He sprints over to Mad Dog Tindall. What do you think Mad Dog said to him? You need to pretend you're ill or I'll make you ill. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Like, I think he Noted, fine. Yeah, no problem. He might not have been as direct. He might have said, a lot of people going down at the minute, Nick. A lot of, you know, a lot of illness going around. Mm. You might want to consider that in the next 30 seconds. Or like, your hamstring looks crampy <laughs> doesn't it now that i'm really looking at i just wanted to have a look at your hamstring it looks like it's cramping to me it wasn't even clear what he did he didn't get stretched out yeah. or anything he just chatted to the guy yeah the they, had, they had a nice little chat the referee got involved mm -hmm. um you know that was very much part of the referee's game plan slow the game down so we're just mm -hmm. we're just playing into that that's fine we'll have shit yeah. refs every single fucking home game i can live with it it's not affecting me because we're fucking class and we keep winning winning one little thing before we move on, Charlotte. Are, are you all for this? There's some conversation online, and that's where I live. Um, mm -hmm. I don't speak to people apart from Charlotte in the real world um, about, you know, is this acceptable? Is this right? Well, ethically, isn't it? Because it, within the game, yeah. like, no one's getting pulled up. Like, I was quite surprised, actually, that no one was like, here, but <laughs> that, are we, we're okay with that? We're okay, we're okay with that. You know, I don't think we won because Nick Pope took a few minutes to sit down so that Bruno could have his ankle strapped up. I think we won because we're class. So I'm okay with it. We, we needed a few minutes. We found a way to get the few minutes. If they want to tighten the rules of the game or they want to penalize for it, us for it in the future, we'll see. But I'm yeah. not, you know, I'm not too pressed about it. I'm not going to get upset. Make some new fucking rules. Don't Make, come at us, yeah. particularly me and Charlotte, but, but the Newcastle team as well. I like, I don't know. Fuck off. Nick Pope. Yes, brother. <laughs> Point number two, Fabian Shark, your favourite. One of many, but still your favourite. They're favorite. all my favourite at this point. They really are. But yes, Fabian Shark share. There's an umlaut on that, eh? I think it's a share. <laughs> uh, 
he uh, was interviewed, I think it was by Andy Sixsmith last week, and who said, you know, you, you, you were bought in for three million quid. Like what, like, what do you think of that, basically? I'm paraphrasing. Watch the interview. <laughs> and he, what did he, how did he respond? I was a fucking bargain. Yeah. That was my terrible, I sounded Cockney almost. To me, it was South Africa. Yeah, God, never again. <laughs> wow. Never okay. again. Yeah, I mean, it was sparking, no? I think. <laughs> 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 He's right. Oh my God, what a bargain. Back yourself. Back yourself. Yeah. I love it. He was a bargain. We, like No one wanted him, Charlotte. No, and neither did our previous manager who yeah. wanted to get rid of him on a free. Fabian Chair, by the way. Such a good player. So integral to our back line. I love that he, it sort of ties into that Bruno thing of, um, you know, when he was asked who he would pick in midfield for a certain game, I think it was a Brazilian game, and he was like, me? <laughs> I would pick myself. And it's like, yeah, you would. Fabian Chat knows that he's class, and he was a fucking bargain. Yeah. Was he not? I love, there. there is a man, Charlotte, comfortable in his environment. He goes to work, because it is work, and he's at ease with himself. There's a confidence, there's a maturity, there's an almost alpha domination. Mm. We've now seen Sven Botman top this yesterday. It's nice, but it's not as defined as Fabian. So, you know, Fabian is above him in the physical pecking order, even though Botman is probably a better footballer. But we, you know, they're both class. Pecking. pecking yeah. <laughs> I just really like how happy and comfortable they are. Yeah, same. And they like each other and they're like buzzing with how they're doing. I'm delighted. We're all delighted. I, I fully back him. I just love, I love the hey, confidence. I envy the confidence. Man loves a head injury. We didn't have one yesterday. No, but not because Fulham didn't actually have any attacks. Yeah. But normally, ball's in the air. I'm going up for a header. They've, they've got the ball with crossing position. I'm going down. Head's hurt. My head hurts. Stop the game, ref. Yeah. They're the rules. Fucking change the rules. I don't know. Don't, let's stop encouraging that. <laughs> yeah, keep the rules the same. The rules need to stay. I love the rules. They're perfect. No, um, <laughs> that's not my thing. Bruno Gomares. Gimarash. It was a sad day for Bruno. It was a sad day for Bruno and he cried. But then he took to social media. This is the thing that I want to talk about. Like Bruno went, like he had a real ankle wobble and it does look painful. And he went off at halftime and was replaced by Max, Sam Maximan. And there's pictures of him after and he's, you know, he's in the team photo, but he's got a kind of... Um, sleeve thing on his ankle and they said we don't know how bad it is bruno's worried he was crying when he went off at half time he left the stadium on crutches but i mean that just seems like sensible to me if you've got a sort of wheelchair for god's sake someone yeah. carry them carry him on a throne yeah. um <laughs> like one of those you know like you know, when prince william yeah throne yeah it's like yeah it's a throne in it yeah, yeah it's just mobile throne. mobile throne yeah mobile throne perfect give him a crown give him a scepter what I liked about it was after the game, um, former substitute Alison Maximin, mm. uh, who played, I thought, very well, but I'm biased towards him because I like him a lot. Um, free Helios if you want, Alan, if you're watching. Yeah, free, um, free Helios for us all. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe skip on the Helios, the free handbags, the wads of cash. Yeah, free cars for us all. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, he was asked by the interviewer, he was like, you know, they were like, oh, it's a shame, isn't it? You came on, it was nice, but Bruno's injured. Like, you know, I, you know, one of these bullshit questions where mm -hmm. it's not really a question, it's just an opportunity to talk some shit. And the media trained answer is like, uh, yeah, we're all rooting for him in the dressing room. You know, he improves the team. He's one of the best players ever. Mm -hmm. You know, can't wait for him to be back. Alan started with, he's my brother and I love him. <laughs> That's so good, isn't it? That's so nice. It is nice. That's from the heart. It is nice. And then Bruno's social media was just, what I thought was really interesting, and we'll show it on the screen, is um, the tweet after the game, which was something like, obviously gutted to be injured. But he put a photo on. He knows the algorithm because you get more interaction if you've got a photo. Oh, he knows actually. the algorithm. Oh, yeah. he, know, he knows the algorithm. He knows how to play in midfield and he knows how to manipulate the Twitter algorithm. Bruno is the only player who, when Isaac Alexander Isak, our hero and goal scorer of the moment, came on, Bruno's song got sung for Isak because, he, because he's in it. How nice is that yeah. for Bruno? Not even there, mate. Yeah. They're singing your song. But it's also Isak's song. Botman Who else? At the back. Botman. It's Botman's song too. Yeah. This is a. This is but a it, but it's Bruno's song, isn't it? It's it's Bruno. Is, is Bruno's song? It's Bruno. It's Bruno's song. It's Bruno's song. Anyway, Sorry. he posted. Yeah, please. Uh, he posted that um, image, and he's like on the floor. This image. It's like for me, if I was in that kind of, um, like, potentially 
career limiting or probably that's a bit dramatic but like next few games limiting yeah. injury um i wouldn't necessarily want to see all the photos or footage of when it happened but he's posted a picture of the moment it happened with him <laughs> clutching his ankle and his hand in the air like please come and help me and i'm like all right he must have asked for that photo he's got to be yeah. like right it's a club photo. Have you got me in agony? <laughs> agony, please. The, the absolute moment of agony for my <laughs> lovers, followers. Yeah. They're the same thing. Brothers, sisters. <laughs> and then he posted another one later on, really wallowing, uh, of a video of when it happened. So that's how you can see the wobble of the foot. Just really, just, just a lot of his own content, but quite specific to that. I don't know. It, it was funny. I have no issue with it. I hope he gets well soon. I hope it's just a... Do they say sprain? They say sprain, not ligament. A, a simple sprain that just needs a bag of peas, bag of frozen peas, and that's it. End of the show, Charlotte. That means it's hashtag AskTFTV. Get the hashtag in the comments. We'll ask your questions. We'll put your name on screen on this YouTube channel. This one comes from Dara. Thanks, Dara, mate, for following the rules. <laughs> Do you think Mad Dog and Eddie are close enough that they would share a Netflix login, or is it strictly a professional romance charlotte your answer uh yeah i do and i think they're probably gutted because netflix are trying to crack down <laughs> on that aren't they so they're gonna have to get separate ones but i think they've definitely got separate netflix profiles yeah because you really wouldn't want to i think it would be really piss off mad dog if like eddie was watching like Downton gilmore Abbey. girls okay we went different directions but kind of the same kind of the same gilmore girl that's what it's my comfort show that's why i picked that <laughs> If he was watching that, because Mad Dog, I feel, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a documentary man. 100%. Serious documentary. There's no room in his life for art. <laughs> I mean, documentaries might be art to some people, but... No, yeah. they are. You should see the Bross documentary. Oh, yeah. that thing is amazing. Um, I, I'll go a different direction. I think um, Eddie Howe doesn't have time for fucking Netflix. The bloke doesn't see his family, for God's sake. He probably um, doesn't know what Netflix he, is. He he still uses an old phone. He doesn't, he doesn't want to see apps. He just wants news he wants transfer information and he maybe wants a spreadsheet sent to his laptop no because he digitized all of his game yeah, his plans laptop, his laptop only i think he's got an ipad that he's taken to the apple shop and had everything <laughs> removed even the app store <laughs> and so that you can't you can't buy any app his kids can't like go on it and be like well i'll buy <laughs> i'll buy words with friends nope you can't because you can't even get on the app store and it only has like strategy <laughs> stuff and tactics stuff like there's a program on there and there's nothing else yeah i agree so they probably don't share on direct charlotte thinks we do what's your question get it in hashtag ask tstv thanks charlotte also you leave a comment like subscribe if you want to um we love doing these we love reading your comments um yeah just at, like alex gets really upset if you don't hashtag app ask tftv we haven't made it very easy to say that little <laughs> hashtag but there it is we're class we'll be back after um palace palace and before the big semi-final see you then